Where's the beef? Unpacking a popular phrase. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a unique and intriguing phrase in the English language. Where's the beef? This phrase is not just about food, but it's packed with cultural and linguistic nuances. So, if you're ready to beef up your English skills, let's get started. Where's the beef? Originated from a famous American television commercial for Wendy's, a fast food chain, in the 1980s. The commercial featured an elderly lady questioning the size of a hamburger at a fictional restaurant. This line quickly became a catchphrase across the United States. It's important to note that understanding the context of phrases is essential in English, as many expressions derive their meanings from cultural references. In its literal sense, where's the beef, would be a question about the location or presence of beef. However, in English, we often use phrases figuratively. Figuratively, where's the beef, is used to express dissatisfaction or to question the substance or quality of something. It's like asking, where is the real value or content in this? Today, the phrase is used in various contexts, often humorously. It can be found in conversations, advertisements, and even political discussions. For instance, if someone presents a plan or idea that lacks details or substance, you might hear someone respond with, where's the beef? It's a way of challenging the depth or validity of something in a light-hearted manner. Understanding phrases like, where's the beef, helps in grasping the cultural aspects of language learning. It reflects how language evolves with society and media. For non-native speakers, recognizing such phrases enriches conversational skills and helps in better understanding American pop culture references. And that wraps up our exploration of the phrase, where's the beef? I hope this video has been both informative and enjoyable, helping you understand not just the phrase itself but also the fascinating ways language and culture intertwine. Keep practicing, and don't forget to look out for more interesting phrases in English. See you next time!